Now, seated row, very, very good exercise for your back, in particular the middle of your back. However, it can be done wrong very, very easily and nullify the effect. Okay? So, exercise as it stands. Check this one out. So here's the exercise, just a few reps in full before we break the technique down. First up is the positioning, making sure your feet are nice and flat on the platforms, okay, you're pushing through the heels of your feet, as you work up the leg, you want your knees bent, because when you lock your legs out, you can put a lot of pressure through your lower back and end up hyper extending it. By bending the knees, you're going to require your hamstrings, your butt and your quads to help stabilise your body, okay, it's going to help with the hips as well. From here, belly button pulled in towards the spine. Leaning forward, keeping a nice flat back, pushing through the heels. Okay, with the upper body, we want the shoulders back and the chest out. Okay, arms extended. Now, common mistake with the seated row is we're focusing on the hands and we're going to end up doing this. You notice in this position here, my elbows are flared. We don't want that. We want to tuck the elbows in to help activate the triceps using more muscles therefore allowing us to use more weight. Finally, at the top of the range, this position here, squeezing the elbows in as discussed and maintain a good squeeze between your shoulder blades to activate all those muscle fibres in your back. One last time. Feet flat, knees bent, belly button pulled in, breathing out. Tuck the elbows in, squeeze the blades together. So there you have it, in the seated row in full and working it into a program. It is a good postural exercise, so towards the middle, towards the back end of a back workout or a all-over-body uh, compound workout.